Hello Universe! This video is for you. If you ever need some encouragement, comforting thoughts, and affirmations, you can always come back here. If you want to skip to the affirmations part of the video, just use the timeline down below. A couple of months ago, I was supposed to get a minor medical procedure. And I was so worried and anxious about it that all of the days prior to it were just plagued by my negative thoughts. I called my mom and I asked for some advice. And she said, why are you so worried? This procedure is routine and it's simple. Both the doctors and your body know what to do. Your body has evolved to heal from minor injuries, especially, and recover. That worked on me like no positive affirmation ever has before, because it was true. Maybe my body is 27 years old, but the blueprint of my body is at least 300,000 and of course more years old where nature has evolved to help us heal from minor injuries. I kept repeating that to myself, a version of that. And before, after, during the procedure, I was so much more calm. My heart was slowing down, my breathing was calm, and my thoughts were at ease. Of course, it didn't release all of my anxiety, but it helped me so much. And I thought, I want to apply these strategies to anything that makes me anxious and worried and make positive change in my life. One of these things was talking to a therapist. I really wanted to, but I was always afraid of what the person will say or think. This person invested their life to learning and helping people like me. They have no reason to judge me. It's their job, it's the thing that they wanted to do, and they will not say anything weird because it's not the code, it would be out of character. I kept thinking that for a few days until I felt empowered to pick up the phone and call a therapist, and that made such an enormous difference in my life. But I don't believe that I could have done it if I was listening to my anxieties more than these simple truths that are very comforting. It didn't release all of my stress and worry about it, but it made it possible. Affirmations are real and they work. But the problem is there are a lot of people out there, especially ones that talk a lot about the law of attraction. They say things like, I am the center of the universe. I can attract money and health into my life. Anything that I want will happen to me. And that is just possible, but it is not necessarily true. The affirmations that work for me are affirmations that are actually realistic, they are positive, and I can believe in them. So it's reality. And that's the kind of affirmations that I want to talk about today. I started looking for them in my mind. I bought some affirmation cards and I have them on a widget on my phone, which I'm highly going to recommend to you. It is called I Am. It is completely free. and It plays an affirmation, maybe changes every hour. You can choose what kind of topic that it has. For example, we have I choose to feed my mind and soul. That is a beautiful affirmation. It is something that might not resonate with everybody, however, because it is not a universal truth. The affirmations that I picked today are universal truths, 99% of them, and they should resonate with you. So I'm just going to read them. You can close your eyes, you can leave your eyes open, however you wish, and try to really feel them, let them wash over you, and hopefully that helps you to feel a little more confident and comforted. No matter what happens, I can always find one thing to be grateful for. My value is the value of life. I am and always will be enough. The only validation that I need is within myself. I am worthy of the achievements and experiences that I have been working towards. I am worthy of receiving the same love and respect that I offer to others. 
I am worthy of receiving the same empathy and consideration that I offer to others. I deserve to choose what I think is best for me to the best of my understanding. I deserve to take time off for myself to rest and regenerate to my fullest potential. I deserve to create a space for myself to be vulnerable, to be honest and to heal. My thoughts, both positive and negative, are just words in my head. They do not define me. I have the ability to examine the thoughts that do not serve me and release them. I have the ability to focus on the thoughts that strengthen me and lean on them. My feelings, both positive and negative, are valid and real. They exist for a reason and they serve their own function in my life. I deserve to honor and experience my feelings so that I may release them and move forward. Being present and honest with my feelings is not a sign of weakness. It helps me understand myself and communicate better with the outside world. I am strong enough to move forward when I am afraid, to be open when I am hurt, to find healing when I am sad, and to believe in myself when I am hopeless. I am strong enough to release my stress and anger over things outside of my control. I can go through my life at my own pace. It is not a race and I have my own path. I can be proud of my achievements and the things that I have experienced and trust myself that I can accomplish them again. I understand that change takes time and I trust the process. I will grow with my knowledge, experiences and responsibilities. I can accept myself as I am today and still work on myself so that I may improve tomorrow. I cannot change my past mistakes, but I can forgive myself and channel their lessons to improve my future. I cannot control my future, but I can accept my anxieties and channel their meaning to plan and prepare myself for what is still to come. I do not need to have everything figured out. All I have to do is move and take the next step. I am resilient enough to follow through with the path that I have chosen. All I have to do is keep walking one step at a time.
I deserve to feel safe, cared for, and happy. I deserve to have a peaceful and loving life. I love myself unconditionally. Thank you.